Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Jessica and I basically post dumb stuff on my YouTube channel here. So today's video would be about my first ever internship that I still am in right now, but it will be about the first day of the internship. So that was like two weeks ago. A little background about me. I study business in a local university here in Singapore and we are all required to take an internship within the three years that we are studying in the school. So you can take it in year one, year two, year three, that's all up to you, but you have to take an internship in order to graduate from the school. Why I chose to have it in year one was because a lot of my friends in year one were already having internship opportunities and I was like, where is mine? So I began to source for my internship about three months before the internship period started. Literally no one got back to me, but we can talk about this in a whole nother video. I did not have any internship opportunities prior to this because I came from an A-levels background and the schools didn't really give us much opportunities on internships. I mean, well they did for once, but I did not participate because I was going on an overseas school exchange trip, so I guess. But I did work before. I've worked in banquets, in cafes, in like a customer service place. But I never really had a chance to intern so I had no idea how this internship thing works. Anyway, when a company finally accepted me, I was like, oh my gosh, thank god. I was so very grateful that a company wanted me because I had no experience. I, I could not back myself up because I had no internship experiences before. So I was like, wow, that's amazing. The night before my first day at my internship, I was so freaking nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, what should I wear? Will I screw up? How is the formalities like in a workplace? Because I really have no idea. I did not know what to wear because all they stated was to wear something smart casual. And I did not know what would be good. And I wanted the first day to be like, BAM! BAM! Good first impression. Definitely not a people pleaser. So I looked through my wardrobe that has literally so many clothes and I was like, I have nothing to wear! Definitely first row problems. I was thinking about all the 9,999,999 possibilities of outfit combinations that I could go with. And in the end, I went with a dress. Yes. So, on my first day, I started to get ready in the morning. I woke up to my alarm at 7.30am. And then, another alarm at 7.45am. Because I was scared that I would not wake up. I don't know what type of sleep person are you. But look at the amount of alarms I have. If that doesn't alarm you, I don't know what will. Yes, so I eventually got out of bed and started to wash my face, brush my teeth, and change out into the dress that I picked. I think that the dress was pretty cute. It was this cherry printed dress. After doing all that, I did my makeup, which is literally just my eyes, because I did not want people at my office to think that I did not get good sleep the night before even though I did not have good sleep the night before. I did not want them to think that I was a zombie who had not seen the sunlight in 20,000 years or like a freaking panda, you know? Even though they're cute and all, I, I don't aspire to look like them. <laughs> and then I had breakfast courtesy of my mother. Thank you mother for making me breakfast every single day, I love you. My mother had made me two soft boiled eggs and a Milo for the energy that I needed for the day, so yay! After that, I left my house. Here's my mom filming me and me rushing off because I was scared that I was going to be late for work. I went to take the bus and I did not expect the morning traffic to be so bad. So I had to take two buses from my house to work because there was no direct bus from my house to work and I was really upset. I was familiar with the first bus but with the second, not really. I had multiple options because I looked through Google Maps and I found that there were two buses I could take from the stop that I was alighting at. One of them, I would arrive earlier and I probably needed that extra time to find where my workplace was because that was probably a very industrial place with many buildings that looked very similar and of course the second bus which would allow me to reach just on the dot. So me being me, guess which bus I took. Yeah, I took the slower one. <laughs> and see the panic on my face as I realized that I was taking the slower bus and I was going to reach at 9.30 sharp and I didn't know where I was walking. I just accepted my life. 
I was thinking of my life on the bus right there. I think I reached fairly on time. I think I was slightly late by like two minutes or something because I did not know where to go. So I took the lift up to the level that I was supposed to be at. I went through this hallway with many officers on the left and on the right and I was really confused because I was trying to find a unit number of where my internship office was located at. Lo and behold, it was all the way at the end of the hallway. My internship is basically a social media intern at a pharmaceutical company which was really cool because that is something that I really really like and I am passionate about. Once I looked in, I was like wow the design looks amazing. I was really lost. I was locked outside because there was this thing that scans your face outside and I am obviously not a verified member here yet. I was kind of texting my supervisor like help. I'm outside. I rang the doorbell like ding dong help somebody get me in. When I first entered the place, my supervisor brought me around and introduced me to people around which I was really awkward about. I could not remember their names. I just nodded and said yes, hello, I am Jessica. I was just like... <laughs> I literally did not know what to do. I was low-key scared and intimidated by people. I did not know anything about anyone or anything. She sat me at this long table and she told me about this brand and how I had to create an idea for a post about Mother's Day and she just left me researching about the brand's website. Okay, so I got into my thinking mode and I went to their website and I started looking at everything. I was clicking away at my laptop. Being a very studious person, I was. I am not. And I was wondering when she would come back because I was expecting her to spoon feed me with more things and more information about the things that I had to do. Since in school, it was the same thing of my teacher spoon feeding me with extra information every time I didn't know how to do something. Especially because it was my first day there, I was expecting more instructions but I realized that I had to do it on my own. So after an hour of looking through the website, I was like, hey, I have an idea. So I pitched this idea to my supervisor and surprisingly, she was like, okay, let's go with it. And I started filming a TikTok at like the 2.5 hour mark and I posted my first ever post in the company at 3 hours into the whole thing and I was like damn I did not know this could happen man I th uh, this is my first day so I went for lunch later and I had some fishball soup which was kind of bussin I didn't I didn't have any videos of that because I was just eating with my colleagues which I knew nothing of so while they were eating I was just eating so while they were talking I was just on my own eating like that mouse meme on TikTok because they were talking about traveling and about the work and it was my first day there I, I didn't know anything about the work there so I was like okay let, let me just eat my fishball noodles and I think that will be fine. There were a few colleagues that would ask me about where I studied at and what I'm wishing to get off this internship and I think that that's really very nice of them so thank you to my colleagues who asked me about myself and making me feel very included in the lunch session. Yay! After we had lunch, I went back and did more research on the brand and came up with more ideas. Actually, my supervisor sat me down in the meeting room because she wanted to discuss the products that they had and the unique selling points of their products and what they want me to show for these products. So, here I am looking very diligent and listening to everything she says. And yes, I think that it was super interesting and I got a lot of freebies that day. I got a lot of their products for free and oh my gosh, they gave me this cloud cushion which was so cute. I It's at the office now because I, I, I love to hug it every single time I'm doing work. But yes, it is very cute. After she gave me that brief, I went back to my table and did some more research about their brand and how I can make some um, content for their brand and I think it went okay. Basically, that was my first day there. I know it seems very boring, but I think that it was a very unique experience that I never thought that I would have. Not only were the people super welcoming and nice, I was doing something I like, so I was really happy about that too. So after that, I ended work at about 5.20 and I headed home. Yes, that concludes my first day. I'm at the end of my third week now. And I think that I've really done so much more than I expected that I could. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did watch all the way to the end of the video, thanks for staying. And if you like this video, do leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!